Hey guys, it's Jasmine. Sorry if my lighting is washed out, but yeah, I don't know what else to do. You guys say it's fine, but I think if you see my skin color and in person and you see through the camera, it looks very kind of like ashy. But what else? So I've been getting a lot of um, questions about my skincare routine. I just, well not recently, but kind of did one no it wasn't it was a while ago let me shut up oh and i forgot something hold on guys so yeah like i was singing i get like a lot of questions about my skincare routine and um I, it's really simple i only use like five products and i'm just gonna get started i'm gonna show you what i use and tell you when i use it and yeah and a lot of people have been asking me how do i get my eye makeup off so well Guys, if you see my recorded videos, like my makeup makeup tutorials, you see that I never have any like eyeliner residue or anything because a lot of people do have that and I hate it. I try to get all of my makeup off because I hate that little underlining thing, whatever. So this really isn't skincare, but I don't know if you can hear that noise, but that's a toilet flushing somewhere in my house or water being turned on. But um, I, to get my eye makeup off, I use the Equate Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover. <coughs> Excuse me. And it says, effective, gentle, removes waterproof mascara, no oily residue. And this is like $3 at Walmart. So that's that. And this, I use this with the cotton ball. And I just roll off my makeup. It doesn't get all of it, all the eyeliner, I mean all the mascara off. But it does a great job. And it says no oil, oil in here, but it feels oily. But it doesn't like break my skin out. And then to remove the rest of my makeup, I use... Oh, it, <laughs> the tag thing is off. But these are the Equate Original Clean facial cleansing towelettes and these are compared to a neutral no i think the puns face remover wipes but they just come in a tub like this and i forgot how many comes in here um i think it was like 60 i don't know not 60 but it comes in like a thing that baby wipes come in and they're not really wet at all so i re-wet mine with warm water and use this to take off my makeup and it doesn't get everything. And then I use this CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. CeraVe. CeraVe. There you go. I think that's how you say it. CeraVe. Sorry, guys. Um, But it says for dry to normal skin. And I have oily skin. And I still use this just because it's another thing it says for all skin types. But then it says on here for dry to normal skin. But anyways, I love it. And I think it works pretty well. It says helps repair, restore, protect skin barrier, and control release MVE technology. And it says none irritating, none drying. And this was like $13 at Walmart. And it is 12 fluid ounces. And I like the consistency. It's really light. It doesn't have a smell. So it works pretty good on my skin and it does get the extra makeup off. So I use this every morning and night. And then I use this toner which is Clean and Clear Essentials Deep Cleaning Toner and it has salicylic acid and acne medication. And it has treats and helps prevent pimples and it's oil free. And this is like $4 at Walmart and I just started using this. I'm trying it out. I wanted to try a new toner and so I tried this one. I also have another Clean and Clear. It's an astringent and it's basically the same thing really. I thought it was going to be different but it feels the same just a different color and it doesn't burn. So yeah this is 8 fluid ounces. So I use this after I cleanse my face. And before I put on makeup in the morning or whenever I'm putting on my makeup. And then I use um, St. Ives Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub. And this is the original one. It's not the sensitive skin one. And this was $4 at Walmart, I think. And this is just 
a nice scrub I do this two to three times a week just depends on how I feel how I'm feeling that week two to three times and it says for best results use three to four times a week and I use it two to three times and it's hypoallergenic and it says it's formulated without parabens and something else I don't know how to pronounce it if you guys can see but yeah it says America's number one scrub brand I love this it gets the dead skin off and it's not too harsh but you don't want to rub too hard especially with the normal skin one because these the apricot is like broken up apricot seeds and this these apricot seeds and this one is like more bigger and coarse I guess than the other sensitive skin one and then I also use the Queen Helen mint julep mask and this is like four or five dollars at Walgreens you can get it at Ulta as well and this is just a mask I do this once a week and it's supposed to dry out pimples and close your pores and stuff of that nature and I think it works pretty well so far I'm trying to make sure it's not breaking me out it says help strap acne pimples rinse away blackheads and shrink enlarged pores so as of now I like it I'm trying it out in my routine and then for moisturizer I use the equate moisturizing lotion <coughs> Excuse me guys, I still have like a slight cold and it says compared to it's compared to the Cetaphil um moisturizing lotion and I'll compare it because I really wanted to get Cetaphil but this is six dollars and the Cetaphil one is like thirteen or twelve dollars for this size. So I'm like comparing the ingredients, every ingredient is the exact same in the exact same order. So I'm like, I'm just gonna get this and it works pretty much the same in my opinion. Um yeah. And I have tried the Cetaphil one, just so you guys know. And I just didn't want to pay $13 again. I don't know. So I got this one, and it works just the same. I love it. And great moisturizer for all skin types. And it says long-lasting relief, and it's fragrance-free. So $6 compared to $12 or $13. I'll definitely get this. Same ingredients, same order, everything. So yeah, guys, that's my um, skincare routine. Like I said, it was very quick and short. I don't really use much. And all the stuff I get is from the drugstore. I think drugstore have really good um, skincare products, especially for the price. So, yeah, guys. Um, if you have any questions or comments or concerns, you can leave them down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to thumb me up, comment, and subscribe. Bye.